My name is Kristen McGraw, and I am the Unmounted Program Manager here at Upreach Therapeutic Equestrian Center. I am an Upreach volunteer here. Different programs require different, you know, numbers of volunteers, but um, Celeste volunteers in every sort of program that we have, and she is my right-hand man. <laughs> um, I was looking to do some type of volunteering work. And um, I wasn't sure which direction I was going to go, but I've always had a passion for horses as a little kid. But living in the city, I never had that opportunity to have my own horse. So in our local newspaper, there was an article from Upreach saying that they were looking for volunteers. And I said, oh, that would be perfect for me. So I joined with Upreach in 2008, and I'm still going strong. <laughs> Oh, there's so many activities that I do. I do carriage driving. I walk in unmounted um, in therapeutic riding lessons. I do um, a lot of unmounted programming, which, like Kristen said, I'm her right-hand man. So I do a lot of that, and I help out with I exercise ride, and um, I do a lot of things. Uh, the only thing I don't do here is teach. Um, I think one of my favorite moments is um, when I had one of my students who came in, and I, we were grooming his horse, and he wound up just giving me a big hug. And the smiles that we get on these kids' faces, is so rewarding. Um, Celeste made the mistake many years ago about telling us how close she lives to Upreach. And so on more than one occasion, we have been a bit shorthanded and called her super last minute. And she says, yep, I'll wrap things up and I'll be right there. And she just drops everything she's doing and comes down to help us out and, um, and help out you know, whichever program it is we've called her for. So Celeste is truly an amazing, uh, an, an amazing person and an amazing volunteer. I was really shocked, <laughs> shocked and very humbled by the whole thing. Um, you know, because I, Upreach is my family, you know, and I do anything for them. Sorry. <laughs> It's just a very emotional thing for me because I see, you know, all the, the good that comes out of here, you know, with students, with the staff, with the horses and everything. It's just a wonderful place to be at. I feel like we need to talk about COVID for a second and how Celeste has played a role in that. You know, COVID happened. Unfortunately, Upreach had to shut down and stop providing services. But um, as soon as we were ready to go back online and, um, and open our doors again, an important piece of that was, are we going to be able to have volunteers willing to um, come out based on the you know protocols and policies and whatnot um our services do look different now mostly from the mounted aspect and um you know celeste was one of the first calls that we made when we were ready to open the doors again and um you know we we talked with her about you know what things were gonna be and how things were gonna look a little bit, di bit different and um I think because of the mutual trust that we have as an organization in Celeste and the trust that Celeste also has in us, um, you know, she was ready to, to step up and step in and back to doing the same, back to doing the same stuff. 